How long is it? Long. 60 metres. 60 metres long, God! 60 meters. I mean, you're doing well, but not that well. Right? There it is. <laughs> Blake, do you want to guess who we have on the panel today for Would I Lie to You? Uh, David Mitchell and Lee Mack. Yes, but guess who's telling this story? We know him well. I'll give you clues. We, we know him very, very well, and I don't think we've seen him on Would I Lie to You yet. I think it's going to be someone from Countdown. Am I right in that? Uh, he has been on Countdown. There's another clue. He. Ah, uh, okay. Is it Joe Wilkinson? It's not Joe Wilkinson. Is it... This could go on for ages. <laughs> I, I would argue that he's in all of our videos. He's in all of our videos. He's in all of our videos. Hey, I'm drawing a blank. I'm giving great clues right now. This is killing me. <laughs> Do you give up? You guys at home. Do you guys know that? Yes, I give up. <laughs> I bet they know because they read the title when they clicked on this video. Well, true. <laughs> he's hidden everywhere. It's little Alex Horn. It's, oh God, that's like such an, you know, when you hear the riddle and you're just less impressed by it. Yeah. That just happened to me. There you go. <laughs> Little Alex Horn is in all of our videos hidden somewhere, guys. Let us know where he is. We pin the comments that do uh, get it correct first. Yep. All right. So this is Alex Horn's story on Would I Lie to You? And it is his lunch notification system. Don't know what that means. Yeah. These days you have so many things that could be a notification system. Just, why does it need to be this complicated? Yeah, let's find out. Five years ago, I spent a whole week building an elaborate contraption just so my wife can let me know when lunch is ready. <laughs> David's team. Go ahead, what tell us is what this contraption? contraption? A telephone. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, a contraption that goes from the house to the bottom of the garden where, where I spend most of the morning. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because, uh, because I've got a little shed down there where I, where I write. Describe this, this contraption to us. OK, well, it's long. <laughs> it's, I've got a very long garden. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. uh, it's on a slight uh, incline. Mm -hmm. It's made out of tubes and my wife operates one end, I receive... <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I, receive, I receive something that comes out the other end of the tube. So it's a, it's a very long tube, and she puts a little ball in one end. <laughs> and the ball plops out the other end. And that's when lunch is ready. <laughs> you sound like somebody who is teaching sex education but hasn't got a clue yourself. Well, there's a ball at one end and... <laughs> Ball comes out the other end, and, and that's where that's well, yeah. she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it elaborate? Is it the length of it? Yes. How long is it? Long. 60 metres. 60 metres long 60 garden? Meters. I mean, you're doing well, so but not that well. Right? There it is. How wide is your garden? Is it one metre? <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? And eight metres wide. Why okay. doesn't she just phone you or text you or WhatsApp you? <laughs> Because, Rob, um, there's no phone reception at the bottom of the garden. You said your garden's on an incline, so if she's yeah, putting a ball in one end, how's that travelling up? Well, it's an incline. Well, the incline from my end is from... at the house, yeah, and the is. bottom part is... It really is quite simple, No, but that's, you know? a, de that's a decline. No, no decline is what incline. you would do if David was to suggest something a bit fruity. <laughs> that is a decline. <laughs> What happens when it reaches the shed? It plops. Oh, yes, yes. Into the lid of a metal bin. OK. Oh. So once it's installed, that's it. You can forget about it. I should take the pipes off the ground. Oh. oh right. how, how did you suspend it off the ground? In a hedge. The pipe's very important as well, cos we had a similar system at my house where we didn't use the pipe. My wife was at the bottom <laughs> in the shed working, <laughs> and I used to just roll it, roll the golf ball down, and there'd been a heavy snowfall, <laughs> and it gathered momentum, <laughs> and it pushed it off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's awful. The whole thing was flattened, yeah. and uh, that's sadly how my wife died. So it's very important <laughs> to keep it in case. <laughs> All right, well, look, what are you thinking? It does anyway. sound... David loves the idea of Lee Mack's wife being murdered. <laughs> I just think David just loves Lee, and everything he says is just gold. Out of <laughs> yeah. So, the story at hand, what are you going to go with? Absolute lie. This this has no truth to it whatsoever. Yeah, if like the story was a lie, he was just every part of it was a lie. The way he told it, it wasn't confident. If this was true, 
Mm. Wow. Like, I will be shocked because I'm very confident that this is definitely a lie. Yeah. Like, I also think if you're a celebrity and you're doing this, that, and the other with your life and you have a 60 meter garden, <laughs> yeah. you're getting a gardener or landscaper or whatever to do it for you. <laughs> and so, just if you have to think for one second, if you had to make a contraption, you'd think something like a string to a bell. Or something might be better right? than, like, a tube yeah. that you, like, drop a bowl down. <laughs> that yeah. has to then, like, oh, lunch is ready, I'll then bring the bowl back up. I thought he was going to say that, like, she stuffs the food into a bowl and, like, <laughs> and it drops it down and he opens and eats it. <laughs> I'm glad I, I it didn't go that way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definite lies. Who has 60 metres worth of tubing just <laughs> around? Yeah. Like, I guess if he had a yard that was 60 metres, he'd be, like out probably out in the countryside a little bit more and there would be it's less nice. reception so there are elements that could work but now nah, overall it's a lie yeah i think so too you did make some good points just then though damn <laughs> yeah no nah, don't change your mind here we go no i won't <laughs> me a little fantastical it's peak boredom isn't it and some people get bored i think the show's going out. fine <laughs> 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 I think it's true. I think it's true as well. I'm going to say it's, it's true. true. OK, so uh, wow. I, uh, truth or lie? Wow. 60 metres. True. Oh. <laughs> what? Why it's say true. 60 metres? has built a contraption just so his wife can tell him the lunch is ready. Yeah. And we've got yes. a clip of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Wow! Wow. I love it! Oh. I love it! <laughs> it just like you described it. That's, wow, that's the, exactly what I would expect from, like, the person who created Taskmaster as well. Yeah, that, that was so much more elaborate than what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, like... Even if he described it in more detail, it would have sounded more unrealistic and we would have been more confirmed in our, like, this is definitely a lie. And, yeah. and it was true. Well, Alex certainly knows how to play the game. I wonder where he got that from. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys have a 60 meter yard? Is that common in the UK? Uh, it sounded like it wasn't that common because no one else seemed to have the, a yard that big, but that's crazy. We had a good time with the story. Unfortunately, we got it wrong, but... How did you guys do at home? Let us know in the comments section. And if you like the video, please hit that like button just there. And if you want to see some more Wooda Lati reactions, we've got plenty of them now on that playlist just up there to so check them out. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.